Hello professionals, today I'm going to show you how you can set this remote monitor setup and I'm giving away a free UI template with it as well. Have you ever spent countless hours editing short form video content only to discover after putting it on a phone, the audio sounds bad because of those tiny little phone speakers? Well, what do we do? We spend countless hours rendering a video, sending it to your phone, downloading it, listening to it, making notes of mistakes, go back to the edit, rinse and repeat until we are happy. Then when we actually go to upload this to our choice of social media, whether that's YouTube, TikTok or stories, the UI is overlapping with your animated text. <sighs> Well, no more is what I'm saying with DaVinci Resolve's 18.5 update. There's a new workflow process which allows you to stream your live edit to your phone using DaVinci Resolve's remote monitoring tool. So imagine how many more videos you could have edited in the time you wasted on those tedious back and forth checks. Let's not waste any time, let's get started. First, we're gonna set up the streaming to your phone. So number one, you're going to need to create a Blackmagic Cloud account and make sure you have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. Two, you'll need to download the DaVinci Resolve remote monitoring app to your phone. Quick tip, you're going to need to make sure your phone and laptop are on the same Wi-Fi network so that they can talk to each other. So step three, in DaVinci Resolve, go to workspace and select remote monitoring. Step four, a window will pop up in the bottom right corner. Click start session. An icon will appear indicating that DaVinci Resolve is streaming your session. Number five, on your iPhone, open up the DaVinci Resolve remote monitoring app and input the session code provided. Quick tip, if you're on a Mac and an iPhone, you can actually just copy from your Mac and paste on your iPhone. If you're logged into the same Apple ID, it'll just Bluetooth across. Once you join the session on your iPhone, you'll see that you're getting a live feedback right in the palm of your hand. What's really cool is that my iPhone speakers are weaker than my desktop speakers. You think that's bad, but it's actually good because the margin of audible legibility is much lower in an iPhone. So by previewing it, we're making sure that everyone with their iPhones as well is able to hear clearly what's going on. So using the streaming feature means that I no longer have to be rendering back and forth. I can get a quick preview instantly. I just mute my computer and let the audio play from my iPhone and it gives me a really clear idea of what's going on. Now it just means we can quickly make sure that our voice and sound effects and music aren't competing with each other. But we're not gonna stop there, of course. There's one more step we need to use to ensure we get the best preview possible and that's my template vertical video UI overlay. All right, so let me show you how to use my Snap UI plugin. First step as always is check the link in the description for the download link. After you've downloaded it, there will be a zip file for you to unpack. And when you do, you'll get a folder that looks a lot like this. Let's go through these one by one. So in here, we've got assets, which just contains an example video. This is not necessary for the actual plugin itself, but it will be for the demo project that's included. Moving on from the assets, we also have an example project here, which I'll be going into later. And I highly recommend you practice with the demo project if you're not familiar with DaVinci Resolve. If you're an expert, I'm sure you'll figure it out. But if you're new, this project's really gonna show you how to use this tool correctly. And finally, we have plates. Now these are everything from the phone plate to all the social media layouts. And I've put them in this folder here, just in case any of these files aren't linking correctly, they're not linking automatically. You can have a manual fix by simply clicking browse, go to plates, and then I could click on iPhone plate. And when you do that, there you go, it's going to load up the direct path. And then finally, we also have the snap UI DRFX file. This is the effect itself. So to install it, all you have to do is double click on it and we'll get a prompt opening up. For me, it says overwrite because I already have it installed for you. It will say, do you want to install this? In which case you go, yes. And there it is. It'll show up down the bottom left. Now you may need to restart resolve. So if you don't see it there, restart resolve and then see if it's there. After you've installed this, I now recommend that you open up the example project. So when you double click on it, you'll open it up and you'll probably get something that looks a lot like this right here. First thing as always is the media's offline. If you want a quick trick on how to link it all back up, right click on the master and click relink all clips for here. So once you've opened up the master folder here, we can just hit open. It's gonna search. It says one clip could not be found. That's okay. We can just hit this search button a second time. And there it is, already found. So that's how you can like mass find everything really quickly. Now that we've relinked the clips, let's have a look at actually what's inside this project file. It's a very simple one. We simply have two timelines. This is your preview on a phone here and your edit your video here timeline, very self-explanatory. 
And we also have a footage where I've just, again, grabbed something online from some random person and threw it down. Now, the main thing to note about this project is the timelines themselves. So if I click on this edit your video and I'm gonna to go to the metadata, you'll see here it's 1080 by 1920 which is your very much normal vertical resolution for a video. And the second timeline is the preview template. This is set at a slightly taller resolution. And the reason for this is that's actually the resolution our phones are. So here's how to make sure you're putting Snap UI in the correct place for it to preview properly. Now, the way you do this is you first open up your edit your video and in here you do all your cuts and so forth and make your changes that you find necessary. Now, most people are going to assume we can go and grab our Snap UI tool and just drag it on. But when you do that, it doesn't look quite right. The UI is here, but none of the cameras here and some of the video has been pushed out of screen. That's because Snap UI isn't designed for 16 by nine resolution. It's designed for a phone vertical resolution. So that's what this timeline here is. It's actually 1080 by 2340 pixels. And so in the example timeline here, you'll see that Snap Catchins is already installed, but let's say we have a normal timeline like this, where this is what it should look like with a regular 16 by nine video and a phone vertical resolution. We have these black bars on the top and bottom. This is what it should look like, because now when we include the Snap UI effect on top, everything looks exactly as intended. We got the corners on the phone and the camera and the UI itself. This is exactly what it should look like. Now, the trick is just to remember that Snap UI is designed for a timeline that is 1080 by 2340. If you're having trouble installing, understanding how to use this, or you're just looking for a community of DaVinci Resolve social media video editors, definitely check out my Discord group. And the next thing you should really know is that if you're interested in the Snap UI tool, but you haven't seen my Snap captions, you should definitely check that out. I've created another free plugin, which allows you to automatically animate text of your choice. Finally, I just have to give a massive thank you to everyone. Less than two weeks ago, I was barely over 400 subscribers. And now two weeks later, I'm closing in on 800. I really appreciate it from every single one of you. And apart from that, I really hope you have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. And until then, I'll catch you around.